Hi folks, welcome to another open source options tutorial. Uh, I have received a few requests in the comments to do a video on how to calculate zonal statistics with Python. And so that's what we are going to do here. Um, for those of you who don't know what zonal, zonal statistics is, it's pulling statistics from a raster layer inside of a polygon. So I have some zones on here, and I have a digital elevation model on here. Um, and one of these zones is a high elevation area, and one of those zones is a low elevation area. So the blue one is low elevation, the green one is high elevation. Now let's say that I wanted to get the average elevation inside of each of those polygons, or the standard deviation, or the min, or the max. That's where we use zonal statistics. Now you can do this in QGIS. Um, but you may want to implement this in Python. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now, just to, to let you know, this uh, it's going to take at least two videos to do this, and maybe more. Um, it's a little bit involved, but you will learn some really cool Python GIS tactics um, while we do it. Okay, so what you'll need is you will need a digital elevation model, and you will need, a poly you will need some polygon zones in order to do this. I'm going to do this in QGIS, and the reason for that is if you have QGIS installed, you will be able to use all the packages, the Python packages I'm using, without going through any installation. And so it'll make it really simple for you to get started and follow along. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Plugins and open up our Python console. And if I do it in QGIS, it will also allow you to kind of see what I'm doing as I do it, because we'll be able to display the data there and display the layers there uh, as we do it. And I'm going to open the editor and um, I'm going to create a new script. That was something else I was working on there. Okay. And so what we're going to need is we are going to need um, to use GDAO in order to handle our raster data. Um, and we can probably handle our vector data directly with QGIS. Um, but maybe we'll use OGR to handle it so you can write this in a script that doesn't depend on QGIS. But so we want to do import GDAO and import OGR. And we'll just import those two for now. We may need some other stuff as we go on. Um, so let's start out with our file name raster. It's going to be a file name, and we want our file name for zones which will also be a file name. Now, I don't remember exactly where I saved these. I think this is on my C temp raster, and then I'll have the path to that, and I'll have to look and see where I saved the zones here. Just a second, I'll get those file names filled in. Okay, so I've got my file paths loaded in for these. You'll notice that I, uh, the symbology for the zones is different. That's because they had to change the file name and save the layer somewhere else. Um, it was in a place I didn't want it. But I have my file names loaded there. Um, so we're good to go. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is I need to load these in as geographic layers. Um, so I need to load them in as a raster layer and as a vector layer using GDAL for the raster and OGR for the vector. Now one thing you want to do is to make sure that you have the same coordinate system for each of these. If you don't have the same coordinate system, you're going to run into problems. So if I open this up here with zones, you'll see that I have a custom coordinate system, and that's because, um, I'll show you here in just a sec, so that's because the U at this uh, elevation data set, it is a custom USGS projection, and so I had to add that into QGIS. Um, in order to get these things the same. And so you'll see that I have an extent, these extents in degrees. Um, I've made that coordinate system, and the same thing here with the zones. Um, if I go to information, you can see my extent is also in degrees, um, and I have the same coordinate system. So whatever your coordinate system is, it doesn't matter what it is, it just needs to be the same for both your raster and your vector layer, and that will prevent you from doing any conversions while you make the, um, the zonal statistics script. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's load these in. And so first we will start with the raster, 
And so we're going to call this uh, the raster data set, RDS. And that's going to equal gdal.open. And we are going to open fn raster. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to um, load in the zone. So we'll call that PDS for Polygon DS. And that's going to, we're going to use OGR to open that. And the way we open with OGR is we're just going to do OGR.open and we're going to do FN zones. Okay. So now we have those two data sets opened. And we also are going to need to define which statistics we want to calculate for the zones. So let's go ahead and uh, just make a list of these. So we'll call these uh, stat types. I'm going to make a list here. And I'm going to include um, all of these. And so we're going to start out with, let's just remember these. we got the min. And let's copy this. So we know what we're doing. So we got the min. We've got the max. We've got the mean. We've got the median. We've got the standard deviation, which we'll call SD. We've got the sum. Uh, and I think we can get the count as well. And we can also get the majority. Okay, so let's give those as the stat types. Um, we may need to come back and change this, but we'll leave those as our stat types for now, and I'll double check to make sure we have all those. So for this, we'll just calculate all the statistics types for each feature so you can see how it's done. All right, so let's clean this up just a little here. I'm going to just take the stat types uh, and move it up above the file name. So this could be the first thing in our file. So there are statistics types. And now we have the data sets loaded, but we don't actually have the data for these loaded. So let's go ahead and get the data for these. And we're going to start out with the vector data set, the polygon data set. So we want to get the actual layer. So we have a... We have a uh, OGR data source loaded. We want to get the layer, which we're going to do um, LYR equals PDS dot get layer. There's only one layer in there, so that will just get the first layer. Now we're also going to need the geotransform information from the raster that tells us where the upper left corner is and what the cell size is. So we're going to create a geotransform, and that's going to equal RDS dot get geo transform. All right. And so we've got that there. Now we're also going to want to make a list that we can store our zonal statistics in. Okay. So we're going to have our Z stats. That's going to equal an empty list. Okay. So we've got that going. So we've got everything set up here. We've imported, we have our statistics types, we have the names of our raster, the names of our polygons containing the zones. We've loaded our raster as a GDAL data source. We've loaded our um, polygons as an OGR data source. We now have the layer that contains the features here, and we have the geotransform information for the raster. All right. Okay, so let's just click run here and make sure that we don't have any errors in this script. So I'm gonna click run. Okay, and I do have an error here, which is coming up in this line saying it doesn't have um, a get geo transform method. And the reason that I'm getting that error is I messed up the path here. This should not be, oops, sorry, wrong one. The temp should not be in this one. And let's go ahead and click run and see if that fixes our problem. Okay, there we go. The error no longer occurs, and it seems like we are good there. So what we can do is, I'm just gonna print the geotransform here to show you what it looks like. 
So we'll do print GOT. And let's go ahead and click run. And you can see we have a bunch of numbers here. So this is the upper left X. That is the cell width, which is going to be 9.2 meters, I believe, in this case. Or, sorry, degrees. So it's this whole thing here. That's going to be in degrees. Um, it's a very small number. Then we have the upper left Y coordinate and the cell height, which is going to be negative for north of images. Okay, so we have this negative um, in degrees. Okay, so that's our geotransform. We're going to need that later to figure out um, the extent of, of rasters in the bounding box and things. Okay, all right, so we're at 10 minutes here with this video. We've got things set up. We've got our layers loaded. We've got our zonal statistics loaded, or our zonal statistics layer, zonal statistics layer set up. I'm going to stop us there now that we have the setup. Um, in the next video, we're going to come in and we're going to start looping through all the features, or all the polygons in this layer. So if you remember here, we have two polygons in that layer. We're going to want to loop through and do our zonal statistics for each one. And so we'll start setting up that loop and going through some of those things um, as we go on in the next video. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video to continue on with zonal statistics.